Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I'm going to be doing a Bath and Body Works haul. I went shopping the other day with my mom and I got a few things at Bath and Body Works and then I also got a couple things at Aeropostale and just a couple other things at Hot Topic. So I'm going to be showing you those at the end. Uh, first off, I'm going to do Bath and Body Works because I'm really excited about all that stuff. They have their semi-annual sale going on right now. So I kind of stocked up on some candles and I got a few body products. So let's start off with the body products. The first one is this Be Enchanted Body Mist and ugh, it smells so, so good. Uh, I don't even know how to describe it, but ugh. online it says, inspired by the wonder of a shimmering fantasy. Be Enchanted is a charming mix of frosted florals sweetened with sparkling sugared pomegranate. So I guess it's a little bit fruity and a little bit florally, but I mean, I guess maybe a little bit. I don't know. It's, it's hard to describe the scent. I mean, I just read it, but even from that, it's still hard to describe. I only got the mist, though, because lotions I don't go through as often as I go through these. So the next one is a set, and I got the set because... When I saw the name in the store, I didn't even know that they carried this anymore. So it is the Dark Kiss, and oh my gosh, I had this back in high school. And as soon as I smelt it, I just, I had memories coming back, and it is just, it's my favorite scent by far from Bath & Body Works now that it's back, or it was in the sale, it wasn't normal price, so I don't know if they just brought it back for the sale, I'm not sure. But the keynotes are black raspberry, burgundy rose, bergam bergamot in what? Bergamot incense, dark vanilla bean, and plum musk. The musk is what you can smell a lot, and the oh yes, it's musky and florally and oh, I, I don't know. It's just oh, it's so so good and I. I just, I'm going to put some on right now, actually. I just, I love this so much. And um, one of my friends, she smelled this on me, and she's like, what are you wearing? She wanted one so bad, so I picked one up for her as well. But definitely, if you haven't never smelt this before, I highly recommend you go and smell this. This is amazing. And the bottle, too, is just so beautiful. I love it. Even if I'm not going to use it, I always have it on display. So the next products are bath products. I got three shower gels. The first one here is this Cucumber Melon. Now this one I'm kind of eh about. I'm not very like, and the cap's kind of weird. <laughs> I don't know. I know a lot of people like this. I mean it does smell fresh, but there's just something about it that I'm not sure if I like it. I mean when it comes to body washes, I'll, I'll always use them because you're not really smelling it all day just in the shower. So to me it's not that big of a deal. It's just I don't know, I saw the scent and I remember this was one of theirs too that I used to use back in high school and so I don't even think, I don't even think I smelt it in the store. No I didn't, I just saw the name and I grabbed it and when I got it home I was kind of like, eh, I mean I'll use it but thank god I only got the, the um, body wash. The next one is this Lemon Drop Martini Shower Gel and this one smells so good. It's like a sweet lemon. I love it so, so much. I kind of almost wish I would have got the lotion and the spray, but I don't remember if it came in the lotion and the spray. I think so. I, I don't remember, but this smells so good. I wouldn't mind smelling this all day long. And that reminds me, I actually did get the Dark Kiss shower gel, but I used it already. So, because I used it in the bath and the shower, I, I just, I love, I should have bought like 10 bottles of the body wash because I just love that so, so much. So this last shower gel, it's called Fresh Coconut Colada, and this one I started using, and this one smells just like a gummy bear, in my opinion, when you're using it. Not when you smell it, maybe, maybe a little bit, but more so in the shower, it just... It, oh, it makes me want some gummy bears, gummy worms, and I actually, the, the first time or the second time I used this, I think I actually had to go buy some gum, gummy bears and gummy worms because I was just, after using it, I was just craving it, craving those so much, so. But this has coconut milk, vanilla rum, and pink hibiscus. 
but to me it smells like a gummy bear. So if I see this in the store again, I'll probably pick up a couple of a couple, I can't talk today. <laughs> if I see this in the store again, I will probably pick up a couple more bottles because I love the scent so much. The last body product, bath product I got is this Raspberry Tangerine Exfoliating Body Scrub. Now, I got this because, one, it smells really good, and then I got it because I only have one other scrub. It's it's from Bath and Body Works too. It's the Stress Relief one. And that one I only like to use when I actually feel stressed or my body aches because in my opinion, it actually really does work. I feel like every time I, every I've started using it when I was like 20, 21. And the first time I used it, I was so amazed because not while you're using it, but like if you use it at the end of your shower and then you shut the water off and then when you step out of the shower and start to dry off, for me, my body just feels so relaxed. So I only like to use that when I'm actually, you know, really need it. So this one I decided to get for more of a, not daily, but you know, like every other day or something or how, how, however much I want to use. And I love that it's in a tube, it's not in the jar because sometimes those jars can get messy. Oh, but yes, this just, it, it literally smells like raspberry tangerine, the exact name, like oranges and raspberries together, and mm, it just smells so good. And the bottle is, again, very beautiful, the orange and the pink, I love that color combination. Okay, so the next items I got are candles. I got five of them, and I got all of them in the small containers, because I always get the three wick candles, and... For me, I wanted something small to fit in my bathroom because I have a tray and the big ones, the big three wick candles won't fit in there. So I thought I'd get these and these are perfect size for my tray. And I think these are perfect for the bathroom too because it's a smaller room so you don't need the big three wick candle in my opinion. And these will still smell throughout the house even if you just have it burning in the bathroom. But let me go ahead and show you the scents I got. So this first one here is Fresh Orange. And I have never seen this scent in Bath & Body Works before. I don't know if it's new or if it's something made for the sale, but mm, it smells just like oranges. And it is described as fresh grated orange zest, sparkling citrus, and white jasmine. And it smells exactly like that to me. It's, it kind of smells like orange and citronella, in my opinion, which I love the smell of citronella. So, if you're not a big fan of the citronella, then I, I wouldn't recommend this. And a trick I know about candles is if you smell the lid instead of the actual candle, like when you're in the store, if you smell the lid, the smell that you're getting is actually what it's going to smell like while it's burning. I, that's a trick I learned a long time ago. And it actually um, stays true, in my opinion. So the next one I got is this Blueberry Pie. And I love this scent so much. I wish I would have gotten a few more of these, actually. I'm kind of bummed, but... Oh my gosh, it smells like Blueberry Pie. Exactly like Blueberry Pie. So it's Juicy Blueberries, Flaky Crust, and Sugar Crystals, yeah. You can, you can even smell the crust, and, and the jar is even pretty. I love the blue. Now, the next scent I got is one I've had before. It's called Into the Night, and I have this in the three-wick candle, and I never burn it because I love the scent so much. The candle itself is pretty, the three-wick one. It's like the black and everything, so I think I might have burned it once, but I try not to because the candle is just so pretty. So I got this small one so I could actually burn it more and enjoy it. Uh, and it, to me, it just smells like like a nice, dark, date night perfume for me. So, it's described as dark berries, midnight jasmine, and rich amber. So, yes. Dark. Pretty much all that. Oh my gosh. It is one of my favorite scents by Bath & Body Works. That's why I never burn it, but I should have got a couple more of these as well, but I didn't. I only got one of each candle, but... You know, that's okay. So the next scent I got is Vanilla Chai Latte. Now this one, I knew I was going to get it before I even smelt it because I love coffee. I love lattes. I love macchiatos, cappuccino, 
everything. Like anything coffee, you can, anybody can go to Starbucks, grab anything, or even Dunkin' Donuts, grab anything, and I'll drink it. I'll love it. You know, I, I just love all that kind of stuff. So, this one is described as steamed coconut milk. Yeah, you can definitely smell the coconut. Chai spices, vanilla bean, and black tea. Yeah, you can smell the tea too. That's kind of weird. Like a coconut and tea candle. They should have named it something else. Like tea. <laughs> coconut tea. They should have named it that. But even though, it still smells good. I love coconut scented things too. So for me, it smells really good. So the last candle I got, this one, it's kind of like a Christmassy fall one in my opinion. But it's called Hot Cocoa and Cream. And it is described as decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, and mini marshmallows. You can definitely smell the cocoa. And the steamed milk. Yeah, there's hints in the marshmallow. There's like little hints if you if you know what you're, you know. But all in one smells more just like cocoa like the cocoa powder but I love it and this one I'll probably burn oh you know what actually I have this candle sitting here all the time hot fudge sundae it kind of kind of smells like that a little bit I mean the hot fudge fudge ugh, the hot fudge sundae it's a little bit sweeter I think yeah it's a little bit sweeter like you can smell the fudge more but it's kind of the same Kind of the same thing. Okay, so that's that was everything I got at Bath and Body Works. So now I'm going to show you the couple stores I went to. I'm gonna show you my little mini haul from those. So the first one I went, or not the first store, but the next store I went to was Arrow Postle, and I only got three things from there, and they're all the same thing. And it is these polo shirts. So I got this one. I got three of them because I couldn't decide what color I wanted. I first picked up like a orangey pink one, but then I was like, no, and then I picked up like a navy one, and I was like, no, I have a navy, like, you know, Michael Kors polo, I don't need another one. I really didn't need three polos, but they were on sale for $8 a piece, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to buy them all, because I couldn't try them out at the store. I mean, I could over my clothes, but because the dressing rooms were closed for the for COVID, so... I only got, I got the three and I figured I'll try them on at home and then I could always return them if I end up not liking them. But for $8 a piece, you know, I can't really go wrong. So, like I said, I got this pink one here and then I got this blue one, which this blue one, it, it was funny because I bought, well, I got the black one too, just the basic black one. But, um, yeah, it was funny because I bought the pink one and the black one first. And then when my mom and I were all done shopping, we went out to the car and I was like, I kind of want to go and get the blue one. She's like, well, you still can. And I'm like, yeah, but I don't know. You know, I couldn't try them on. So I don't know if I want all three. And then she told me like, you know, yeah, just if you want to get it, just go home or take them home and try them on and then return them if you end up not liking them. So I was like, yeah, that's true. So we went to eat and stuff because we were hungry after shopping and stuff. So then after we were done eating, I was like, yeah, I'm going to go and get the blue one. And then, you know, chances are we'll have to come back anyway because my mom got some clothes too. So that she wasn't able to try on. So um, she was thinking she'll probably have to exchange or return. So I got all three. And um, I haven't, I've, I like this one a lot. I wore it around today. And the blue one, I'm actually not sure about. After I tried it on, I was like, mm, I don't know. I mean, in my mind still, I love it, but just the way it fit me. It was weird because it's the same size as this. I don't know, but in the black one, I haven't even tried on yet. But those are the three things from Aeropostale. And then I went to Hot Topic because I had to return some stuff from the big haul that I ordered. It wasn't stuff I was even showing, but so I, well, I exchanged, exchanged some stuff. So I got, um, what did I get? Oh, yeah, okay. So they were doing their hot cash, so their tank tops were $15 a piece, and plus I had the 15 off 30, so I pretty much got two tank tops for $15, which is a pretty good deal. 
So the first one is this one, and I love this one. It is so pretty. I love the ties on the top, and then the back it has the netting detail, and I love that it has a sparkly skull on the front. I love this one. This is like going to be my new favorite tank top for summer. I love it so much. And then this tank top, this one's really cool too. Let's see here. Okay. <laughs> so this one, it's a red tie dye, and it has another sparkly skull on the front. And then at the front here, it has this smaller fit netting. So both of these I really like a lot. They're very cute. And then the last shirt I so the corn shirt I was wearing in my Hot Topic haul, I wanted to exchange it for a size smaller. So when I was there, I saw another corn shirt that I was going to exchange it for. It wasn't the same one. So I grabbed the corn shirt and then I, she had to like ring everything up and try to find stuff. So I was staying at the register and as I was, I was looking at all their shirts on the wall. You know how they have them kind of displayed and... I saw this shirt and I was like, oh my gosh, I need that one more than the corn one. Even I do plan on getting the corn one though, so, but I'm so excited about this one. And I think it was my favorite album from theirs, maybe. This shirt. Yes, Blink 182. One of my favorite, favorite bands. I listened to them literally all throughout high school and even still to this day, like, they are just, ugh, I, I miss them so much, I really wish, I mean, I know they're still making music, but it's not all three of the same members. And actually, I did go to one of their concerts, like, four or five years ago, something like that, and I remember I bought the tickets because I thought, well, I never saw them in concert, and I thought this could be, you know, one of their last times that they're going to tour, so I went and bought the tickets, and I was so excited. So I ended up looking online more about the you know, the band and the show and everything, and then I saw a picture of them, and it was Travis, Mark, and not Tom, and I was like, what the heck, what's going on? So I looked up the band more, and I found out that Tom wasn't even in the band anymore, I didn't even know that, and I was like, oh my gosh, so I was kind of bummed, you know, I mean, they're, they're still okay, but it's just, it's not the three same members, especially going to watch them in concert. I was kind of, I was really bummed because I always loved Tom. His voice was, is just so unique. So I really thought it'd be cool to see him in concert, but so I was kind of bummed. I mean, obviously I still went and it was okay. It wasn't, you know, I expected a lot more from them, but I know they are getting older and everything. So I, I mean, I think the show was only like 50 minutes long. And they just played their songs. They didn't even really communicate with the crowd, nothing. So it was kind of like, eh, at least I get I get to say that I saw them in concert. I mean, I still love them. I still love all their music and stuff. So I did actually end up stopping at Macy's because I had 12 empty MAC products. So you can do the Back to MAC, which is six empty MAC products, and you get a free lipstick. And I thought before, a while ago, you could either get a free lipstick or a free eyeshadow. Or I, maybe it's up to the store, maybe that they would substitute it, but when I was there, I was kind of annoyed because I didn't want the lipstick because, I mean, everyone's wearing masks now, so what's the point of even really wearing lipstick? Plus, with my braces, lipstick just gets on the braces, so I asked them, I'm like, is there any way I can get an eyeshadow instead because it's the same price, so, but they wouldn't let me. They didn't have any of the testers out for the lips. I what shades I like. Like, I like the dark, um, what are they called? Like a, like a rose, I don't know how to describe it. Like a mauve, but like rose, whatever. So, I was trying to describe them, and I was pointing at, they had like pictures, you know, with the MAC, and then the look, like some, they had like four lips that were shaded in, like on posters and stuff, so I pointed to one of the colors. And it was kind of like that, and I was like, oh, I like that color, and she's like, well, it looks like this one, and it kind of looks like this one, it kind of looks like this one, and I was like, well, I don't, can you swatch it on something? No. So I was like, well, I don't want to just, you know, get a lipstick, I mean, I know they're free, but still, it's like, I don't want to get a lipstick, get it home, 
try it on, not like it, because then I can't, you know, exchange it or return it or anything, because, you know, I asked her, I'm like, can we go to a computer and you can just look up the names, because I, I know more of what I like by the name color from MAC than I would if, like, you just pointed to a shade. She ended up pulling out these drawers that had, like, you know, all the shades in them, like, if you were going to purchase one, you'd pull off the drawer and there they all were. Some of them had testers, so she grabbed a napkin, she started testing my colors that I wanted. I'm just like, I thought you said you couldn't test. Whatever. So I was there for quite a while just for two lipsticks. So anyway, I ended up getting Midi Mauve, which this one wasn't one that I wrote down, but it looked pretty. The box did, so I wanted to swatch it. And it is this color. It is just like the color that I love, the mauve. And this one actually... On the napkin, it's going to look darker on the napkin than it is on the lips because the napkin's white. You know, my lips aren't like pale white, so. But I do like it. It is very pretty. And it's almost, it blends in with the lips really well. I don't know, but it's very like, how do you describe it? Like a natural color. So I really like that a lot. And then the next color I got is Mocha. And this one was um, one that was on my list and I think it's going to be very very pretty for fall time it's kind of darker but um, it's the bottom one there I think yeah okay. but yeah this one it's it's I, I don't think it's one I would normally go for but I do really like it and it's different something you know that I wouldn't normally go for so I do like it for that reason so those are the two I got even though I wish I could have gotten eyeshadows and I would think that they would at least you know work a little bit with that because I told I even told them I don't ever really wear lipstick which I don't I usually go for lip glosses even without braces or anything I I like lip glosses more but they wouldn't and you would think like I was saying that they would work with you because a lot of people probably aren't wearing lipsticks right now because everyone's wearing masks like I said so eyeshadows you're still gonna all be able to see but it is what it is I guess I mean they were free I mean technically not really because I had to pretty much buy six products to get a free lipstick and max not necessarily the cheapest so but it's okay I mean you know an hour later I got the two colors that you know I'm fine with so yeah that was my mini haul kind of I mean it was more bigger than I thought it was gonna be um, when I sat down to film this I didn't realize how much I had here um, but now that it's all unloaded I can put everything away and start burning my lovely candles that I got and you know start wearing these clothes and stuff so yeah, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and don't forget to like, leave a comment, and please subscribe for more relatable content. I hope you all have a great day.